Hello everyone, hello all of you who already installed Mozart Assistant plugin. In this video I want to introduce you to some special features, some custom build functions that this plugin comes with. To get to this page uh, go to settings and then click Mozart Assistant. First I recommend you reading, reading this text here. It's a valuable information on how and when to use uh, these features. Now I'll go uh, and show you an example what each of these features are. First one we have here is 404 page layout. If you're not familiar what that is, uh, 404 page is a non-existing page on your website. So for example if someone visits your website and go to a non-existing page, he's going to see something like this, a blank page with a text. Uh, no results found. However, if you enable this option, he will see a really great design you see on the screen right now. So I really recommend you enabling this one. Uh, and if you're still wondering why would you enable this at all, well, uh, for example, someone can just mistype a page that he wants to visit on your site or uh, perhaps you used to have a page on your site that you deleted meanwhile but the visitor opened it from browser's history. So instead of displaying that blank page it will be much better if you present your visitor something like this. Next option is category page layout. That's the, the design of category page by default. And enabling this feature will enrich this page layout pretty much. So as, as you can see there's this header image, there is a category name here, a sidebar and some really nice effect on hover when you hover over the uh, blog posts. Also there is this uh, sign up form here and a nice looking footer. And also let me tell you that you can customize the look of these layouts. So for instance if you want to change uh, this particular layout you should go to Divi, then Divi library and then find category page layout. Simply click and edit it with uh, visual builder as you would usually do with pages and posts. Get, let's get back to uh, settings and Mozart assistant. Next one is author page layout. So the principle is same if someone clicks uh, on a on author name underneath the title. He will see this default page again but enabling this option will uh, bring your visitor a whole brand new design that looks much better. The same is for a tag page layout so if you uh, have tags for your posts and you want your visitors to be able to click on the tags to filter the blog posts by that particular tag, I recommend enabling this page layout as well. Also there's a improved layout for search results page. Now if you go to search and type something, again uh, enabling this feature will uh, bring your visitor much better experience with the feature enabled by compared to the default looking page. Also there is a single blog post layout. Uh, you can enable a full width layout to force all your blog posts to be full width. So as you can see there's no sidebar now. Also you can use right sidebar layout uh, as well. But have in mind that these two options work only if you are not using DV Builder on blog posts. Also we have here a page transition effects. It's something like preload effects. If you want to enable that you can choose something like fade in or, or slide up. So each time a visitor open a page on your website it will first load this effect. So that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching.